Hi, my name is Dougie Burt from Doug Burt's Tackle World. How you doing? Um, today we're going to be talking about deep drop fishing and we're going to start it off with the gear that I use um, right through to the lights that we use, um, the tackle, and then we're going to uh, head out fishing tomorrow and hopefully put all this into work and make it happen. And we'll show you the pictures of that as well. So uh, firstly, um, the rod I like to use, the uh, rod and reel, sorry, uh, is Shimano Beastmaster. 9000, this is the new model, uh, which has heaps of power, holds, uh, I've got uh, nearly 900 meters of 100 pound, uh, very thin line on here. Um, it will get about a thousand of whiplash of 100 pound, but generally say power pro about 750, 800 meters of 100 pound. Um, the rod I'm using is just, uh, it's the prototype, it's a very light rod, uh, quite flexible. Um, this rod I'll run from catching pearlies to uh, chasing blue eye on it. So the one rod does everything. Uh, the butt on it's quite long, a bit longer than your, than your standard little short butt, bent butt, but it's not quite as long as a chair rod, of course. Um, it needs to sit proud of the of the combing, like about so. So it's definitely room here to um, not rub on the deck. And the rod needs to be reasonably long. This one's about six foot in length. And uh, it's sitting at around six foot six nearly. And it's a pretty length over the back of the boat. Um, at the end of the right line, sometimes I run a wind on leader. Um, I don't have it at the moment, but normally I run about 150 pounds and on the slider rig. And a good quality snap, it's around about 200 pounds. And, and there's an array of different flashing lights you can get. This one here is a multi strobe, um, they're the water activated. It's with my tongue here. And, Stick my hand on here, it should work. One of these sides here. Somewhere, <laughs> sorry folks. <laughs> Can't get my hand in there. There's a little, uh, there we go. A little, uh, two little points that are actually are water activated. Once they dry out, out of the shed, or maybe bring it back home, or in the boat, um, it stops activating and stops flashing. If you can see that, okay. So they do all different sorts of flickers, a long strobe, short strobe and it attracts the fish. Um, there are other types as well. These are all Optia products. There's a little flashing strobe. This is called Diamond Light. These are really good as well. They come in greens, blues, whites, all different colors. The rigs we use, um, I use three different rigs depending on the depth that we are fishing. So if I'm fishing in um, around 120 meters to 180 meters so for pearl perch and bar cod, etc. Um, I use a quite a light rig, which we sell all these rigs as well. There's three different types of rigs we sell. This is our lightest one, which is called our pearly rig. Um, it has uh, Aido Shinto hooks, which are made by BKK on there. The circle hooks, uh, the Lumo hooks actually. And they have little Lumo skirts on there and beads. The main line is uh, 130 pound and the branch is 100. So that seems about it to catch anything that we can handle in that sort of depth water. The next model up I use, which I'm fishing in that sort of uh, 200 to 350 meter mark, which is um, a bit deep for pearlies. You get the odd ones out there, but not very many. Uh, you do get obviously bass groper up to whatever, <laughs> 50 kilos. And, um, but we get flame snapper as well. And we get snapper, we get kings, we get all species right out to about 280 meters. So, um, the smaller, same book, same as before, the Aido, um, Shinto, Lumo, uh, circle hook, seems to be able to handle any fish that I've caught up to, whatever I caught out there, maybe 50 kilo bar, uh, bar cod, no problems at all. Um, the branch line, the main line is 200 and the branch is 130 pounds. So it's just that bit step bigger and heavier. And instead of going for the, the three-way swivels, we're now using crimped on uh, inline swivels that spin around and around and um, work really well. The next rig we use, which is the one I use for the big bad boys, this fella here. Uh, these are a lot more heavier duty. Uh, we're using around about a 12-0 circle hook, heavy duty. Uh, 12 to 14 O's, uh, plenty of Lumo. The main line is uh, 300 pound and the branch is 250, I think or 200, somewhere there, about 200. 
um, again, inline circle, uh, inline, sorry, uh, crimps, swivels, like so, they spin around 100%. When I undo this rig, it's around about, um, the spacing between each hook on all of these rigs is about 1.2 meters. And then you have your branch line, which is around about 30 centimeters long, hanging off it. And uh, yep, so ready to roll. On the top, we attached that straight to that stat saw I showed you earlier. And on the bottom, I put around about in this little area down here, I run around about um, 100 pound, 80 to 100 pound breakaway. And it's around about a meter and a half long, two meters long. Just enough so that when I get the fish in the boat and I go from the fish into the boat, the sink is not clanging on the boat because it's quite heavy. So I can get the fish in the boat and then I can reach over and do a wrap and get the sinker into the boat. So also it gets my line off the bottom and keeps the um, hooks from fouling up onto the bottom. So anyhow, this is it. We're going to give it a go tomorrow. Um, the bait we're going to be using will be mullet fillets and uh, actually on the pearlies we use the squid and billies. On the bar cod and flame snapper we'll be using mullet fillets and some cut up um, probably slimy mackerel I'd say and garfish. Yeah, so there we go and uh, we'll give you a, an upkeep on that when we get back in tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye.